Espresso distribution. Let's test a few things here. So I've been doing this lots of different ways, lots of fun, but let's see what we get here. So here we'll have the Weiss distribution, which is a yogurt cup and a chopstick to stir with. Incidentally, this is a Chobani cup. Turns out that the bottom is nearly exactly a match for a 58 millimeter portafilter, this little lip right there. Um, trial and error, my wife bought Chobani, it happened to fit. Um, this is a knockoff, a Chinese knockoff of the uh, OCD distributor, which has these little fins. And the point is you're just supposed to drop this on top of uh, nearly unsettled coffee and spin it. And these fins are supposed to kind of push it around a bit and uh, settle it down and then you tamp it. Um, this is a tool that I made. I had 3D printed, which um, so that little bar down there acts as a funnel. And then um, you basically spin that bar around. It kind of acts a little bit the same as this, except it goes a little deeper into the coffee and um, acts more like a stock fluff uh, maneuver. Um, it just kind of automates it for you. Um, we're going to use consistent, the same dose. We're gonna, it's going to be uh, a 19 gram dose. And we're going to try all three of these and see which one comes out better on a bottomless portafilter. Uh, pretty unscientific. We're not going to use a refractometer. We're just going to take a look at what the bottomless portafilter looks like. And of course, the control is going to be this. Just taking my hand, finger across, and we'll see how that works. And for this test, uh, we're going to lock it at 19 grams per dose. We're going to use some beans that uh, were given to me as a gift from Norway. Um, it's actually pretty good. It's uh, it's Indian, which um, is shocking to me because usually I don't haven't liked Indian coffee in the past. But uh, this stuff actually is pretty good. It's fairly light roasted. Um, but anyway, consistency uh, as much as possible through this test. Same coffee, same dose, same everything. So let's give it a shot. Uh, something else forgot to mention here. We're going to use this uh, tamper, which is another Chinese knockoff. Um, Mal Malgut makes one of these, a um, couple other ones. Concept of puck tamper. But uh, that rim makes it that rests on the portafilter. So it's exactly the same depth and same pressure every single time. So I've got it set for the dose. Um, that way there's essentially no variable other than my distribution technique, um, which hopefully makes this a bit more consistent. All right, cup, funnel, and stirring for later. Let's uh, give this a stir. Now, this is actually interesting. This cup, I think, probably doesn't fit exactly right. So let's that. All right, so makes a bit of a mess, actually, because the cup doesn't fit, but that's probably fixable. Nice tamp. the fortifilter. Let's start this over here this time so we can see it. And it comes together pretty much all at once. So that's uh, that's what you want. Nice and even all the way through. It's not Bleeding on the edges. Looks like it may be far back a little bit, but uh, stop it right there. There we go. So that's the Weiss distribution. All right. Next, my 3D printed guy. This is a 3D printed nylon. Uh, same thing though. We're gonna do. Our dose, we just drop this right on the top like that. Go right into there and we'll spin it around a few times and see what we get. Now, uh, 
settle it. So I found it real nice in there. And then give it a couple of spins. Start pushing it around. Take it off over here. And what we end up with is this, our little mound in there. It's not clean on top, but uh, fairly well pushed around. Give it a tamp. There's our puck. Alright, and again, what does the porta filter say? And it's coming out from the side, so that's not as good as the uh, Weiss. Weiss really came together all at once. That one definitely came from the sides to the center first, so that means there was some weak channeling on the outsides. Shot looks good, though. I mean, it's pouring really nicely. Lots of crema. Pouring a little fast, actually. About two seconds faster than the uh, other ones. So uh, that right there is a pretty decent indication that... Uh, this had channeling and it went faster than it should have. Okay, next, the OCD knockoff. Um, OCD is Una Coffee Distributor. Sasha Sestik designed it. He's a World Barista Champion. This is the Chinese knockoff. Only has three fins. The real one has four. Um, and really, I'm not sure entirely how to use this other than that you're supposed to just drop it on and spin it. Uh, makes sense to me that those ridges there would be turn it this way first to try and drive the coffee around and then this way to kind of smooth the top. Uh, so let's see what we end up with. I'm going to use a funnel because you're supposed to just drop it in. You're not supposed to tap and settle in between. You're supposed to dose the whole thing first. So here we go. Before I end up with some beans popping in a mess. Settle this down a little bit since this funnel needs to be pulled out. All right, so I did something I'm probably not supposed to do, but I did settle a little bit. But there's our top. So we take this thing, we're going to put it just resting it on there. Just the weight of this, no pushing. The rim of that helps. Four, one, two, three. And we end up with that, which is almost looks tamped but it's not because you can see if I drop this there there's the ridge separating so it does need to actually be tamped so give it a tamp and let's see what we get alright sorry I had to cut there that uh, almost dropped my phone <laughs> Try this here. So that's coming out pretty damn even. It started on the edges, but it caught up in the middle really fast. Uh, streams together already. Uh, that's a pretty nice shot right there. It's pouring really, really well. Looks good. Lots of crema. Uh, it's pouring significantly slower. This is at 27 seconds here, and we still have a little ways to go to hit our double. And it's still not blonded tremendously. There's our double right there at 36. Um, so that was a nice looking shot. Okay, finger strike. So what I've been doing for years. Um, basically, dose about halfway, three taps, Dose the rest of the way, smooth with the finger. Ah, come on.
make a mess, which we knew. All right, our tamp. see what we got. Comes out from the sides. Comes together pretty quick. Definitely not as fast as the uh, OCD knockoff or Weiss. And it's blonding really quick too. And it's pouring faster. Definitely faster. So uh, that was the worst of all of them. Um, it definitely poured too fast. Looks like there was channeling around the outside. Uh, blonded much quicker. And uh, yeah, that was the, the worst shot. All right, so here we go. What did we learn? Um, finger strikes. Um, if you are an experienced barista and you've been doing it for your whole life, I'm sure it is quite accurate. You look at people on the internet, um, Chris Baca being one who is a proponent of that saying he can he's just done it so much he knows what he's doing and I buy it um, but of these three dis, these types of tools here uh, this one definitely was probably the best but only by a small margin over this one um, this requires more time you've got to kind of sit there and pay attention and stir and you know it's uh, it's more work than I actually want to put in, to be honest. I want a good tasting shot, but I want to be able to do it consistently the same every time. Even with this, there is actually a margin of error. If you don't stir it identically the same every time, it won't be the same. This is pretty much going to be consistent. As long as you weigh your dose and you measure it, it's going to be completely consistent. This just didn't work very well. Um, it's an interesting idea. Um, there is a tool that looks almost exactly like this that you can buy from uh, a place on the internet. I won't say the name, but you can get it. Um, it's stainless steel rather than 3D printed. Maybe it works a little bit differently. Uh, for what I'm after, this one's the clear winner. Um, it provides me consistency. It provides me speed, and I can get up and out and do what I'm doing in the morning and not have to spend... A tremendous amount of time to get a very, very, very good shot of espresso.